so much to talk about. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I saw you last. I think the last video I made was when I was like 36 weeks pregnant or something. And between that time and now, I am 12 weeks postpartum. There still is a pandemic going on. We found out about COVID-19 getting like really ramped up in the States and a quarantine happening when I was 38 weeks pregnant. And I gave birth on March 30th after two weeks of being in quarantine. So there's just like a lot of context and a lot of stuff um, that I wanna talk about and share because it was it's just been the most wild ride. Such an overwhelming season for me. And um, I have been just overwhelmed, but like in baby land for the last 12 weeks, but honestly loving my life and loving this new transition and this new season, unlike what I thought. If you've seen any of my other videos, I'll put them up here. Um, I definitely was not sure how I would feel about being a mom. So I will go over all of those things in the next few videos, but today we are talking about being pregnant during COVID-19 and being in quarantine. So it was just a very stressful time. We were moving from Silver Lake. I lived in Silver Lake. We sold our house during quarantine because Shay and I were like, you know what, that house is not good for a baby. We've just been making so many decisions in such a short amount of time and there's been a lot of change. So we moved out of the Silver Lake house. We remodeled this Redondo Beach house. It's an investment house um, or an investment property, but we knew we wanted to live close to family for the first few months of having the baby and then kind of see what we want to do. So just finished the remodel, just sold the house during quarantine, having a newborn and going back, we just went into lockdown when I was 38 weeks pregnant. And I was like, okay, this isn't that big of a deal. It's like the flu, honestly, because that's what you heard on the news in the first couple weeks. It's like, it's like the flu, maybe a little bit more severe. And as I would go to my doctor appointments, like checkup after checkup, my doctor was starting to get concerned because she was like, if you go over the 40 week mark, then your husband, who knows, but your husband may not be able to be in the room with you. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, the hospitals are getting really, really strict because they don't want to use PPE and they don't want any more potential for exposure um, to any of the patients and the babies. And so I was just so, so, so overwhelmed. I already was like during my pregnancy, I was very emotional at times. Like I had really bad hormonal bouts of depression, but only last for like eight hours or like a full day every two or three weeks. So it wasn't like my whole pregnancy. It was just pieces of my pregnancy. So I was very overwhelmed as it was just being pregnant um, and about to be a new mom. And just my body was aching. I was, you know, about to pop, even though I didn't look super pregnant by the time I was 40 weeks, I felt pregnant. My back hurt, my pelvis hurt. And the doctor's now telling me like, well, one, no family can come to the hospital. So, you know, this whole time I'm thinking what it will be like to be a new mom have my first like birth experience, labor and delivery experience, having people come and bring you gifts and bring you coffee and bring you breakfast. Like when my other siblings had kids, it's like I would bring them Pete's coffee in the mornings and I would bring them breakfast burritos like while they were at the hospitals and during their hospital stay. And it was just such a fun family time. So I was really bummed that that wasn't gonna be the case, but I thought, okay, you know what? You know what, everything is gonna work out just fine. Like I trust God, I trust what his plan is for us and I know it's gonna be okay. But then the doctor's now telling me that potentially my husband can't be in the room and I was just like, okay. I wasn't even a hundred percent sure that I would like be able to do this. Like physically the labor, I was scared to death of pushing a baby out of my hoo-ha. That scared the crap out of me. I'm like a very athletic person, but I'm sorry. There's no, there's no way around that. Like, I don't know how a watermelon is coming out of that space. It just did not seem plausible in my mind. So then she's telling me that now my husband might not be able to be there to support me. And I'm like, I'm gonna do this in a room potentially alone with doctors that I don't know. During a pandemic where there's coronavirus patients like two floors up, this is insane, no. And I was so overwhelmed on top of just regular hormones from pregnancy. And my husband is like coming home with like all this dry, all these dried goods and like rations because he's like, I don't know what this is gonna be. I don't know if we're gonna be stuck here for months. I don't know if food is gonna sell out. Like no one knew what was going on. And I'm a very calm person. So I think I, I kept my cool, but at the same time I was like, yeah, I mean, technically we don't know how this is going to end up. We don't know if there's going to be a shortage on food. What if I don't have like a large milk supply? Do we need to get formula now? So we ordered like a bunch of formula just in case. Thank goodness, because I did need formula, but it was just like a very, very stressful time. I was overwhelmed by the uncertainty of everything. How is this going to affect business? Will business are we in a recession? Like what's going on? Uh, what do we need to do? Should we 
be worrying about the stock market should we be pulling money out and then my doctor on top of everything is telling me that the baby looks like my belly was not getting very big and so she thought there was maybe something wrong with the baby so I had to get some last minute ultrasounds and turned out like I kind of thought she was fine. It was a very like trying time for me emotionally and psychologically because I would go through these bouts of like, well, what if something happens to the baby? We shouldn't be at the hospital, so how long are we gonna be at the hospital for? I'm like ready for 2020 to be over because it's been like a very stressful year so far, but also the best year of my life because now I have my little Frankie girl and I'm so obsessed with her. That is just, the setup for being pregnant during quarantine, having a baby during this time. I didn't know if I was going to be able to have my husband in the hospital. Spoiler alert, I was able to thank God. Um, but in my next video, I'm gonna talk about all about my birth plan, every how everything went and my experience because it was much different than I thought it would be. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys next time with that video part two.